Hi everyone, in this video we're going to go over how you can submit your timesheets electronically. The first thing you want to do is go to your browser and type in timesheets.wagner.edu. For the username and password, you're going to use your all access pass. We're going to input that here. Go ahead and press login. And then once it logs in, you'll have a record of any timesheets that you may have submitted previously. And if it's the first time, you won't have any information here at all. So the first thing you wanna make sure that you do is select the right week in which you are submitting a timesheet. So in this case, we'll just do an example and I'll choose the last option here and click start a new weekly timesheet. This screen will come up here and at the top you have the week ending and you also have a legend for leave types that you will use down below here under LV type. So your name will show up here automatically in employee name and under department you'll have to choose whatever department that you are a part of from the drop down menu. Your title will be listed here as well and then you'll just have to click your supervisor email from the drop down menu here. Here under the dates and the times, this is where you're going to put the start time, your meal break, and your end time. So if you started the day at 8.30 a.m., you just choose 8.30 a.m. from the drop-down menus. Here under meal break, you're going to put in the time that you took your lunch. So if it is in the afternoon, just make sure you are aware of the a.m. p.m. and put the time here. So if we just put 12 p.m., and then let's say our day ends at 4.30, so we're just going to select 4.30 from here and make sure AM PM is selected. Now the application will automatically tally the total number of hours that are here. And here under LV type is where this legend here at the top is going to come in handy. So let's say you have a sick day or a vacation day or some sort of holiday that the college has had and you have to put in for it on your timesheet, you can just select what it is depending on what it says in the legend at the top. So if it's going to be a holiday, you would just select H and that will signify that this time is a holiday. Once you have added all of your totals here, you'll see the weekly total here at the bottom and then you will be asked to put your initial in here as well. So if we put our initials in here, and we'll have to put a date in which we are submitting this. So let's just say we're submitting this today. You just choose that date from whatever the calendar is. And then in the comments here, you would write any extra comments that you want to have. After that's done, you just click Submit to Supervisor and that will automatically submit your timesheet to your supervisor. Now, if you prefer to start your timesheet at the beginning of the week and just add as each day goes on, you can do that by starting your timesheet and just save and continuing later. If you do decide to do that, you will see one that you have started here that says the status of it, which is saved, and you can go back into it by clicking on the date here and that will take you back into your timesheet. Once your status has been approved, you'll be able to see that here under status and it'll say that it's been approved by HR. As you can see, this process is really very quick for submitting your timesheet and it's also very efficient at the same time.